Hello, and welcome, viewers of the Andar Nation, to this special 4th of July installment of Discovery, where I will prove how I am the supreme ruler. As it is the 4th of July, I'm going to play as the red, white, and blue Yugoslavia. Hmm. Free flow of labor? Free trade? Absolutely not. No free trade. Dumb. Then again, we are communists. Ooh. It doesn't really seem like there's much in the way of diplomacy here either. It's just like, who do you want to be your ally? And then, are you at war with them or not? And that's, that's the diplomacy of this game. Why is the actions against always an image of Texas? It's like that in the other game too. SEVERE ACTIONS! I like how the declare war action requires you to press this, and then press the button. You have to break the glass first. It's nice. It's a nice touch. Alrighty. I think we've been preparing enough. We have no actual strategy. It's a small country. We're, our strategy is this road to their capital, and then we win, right? Good. Boom, boom. Whoa. That was immediate. Stop, stop. Calm down, everyone. People who play this game a lot are probably just like, oh, it's so easy, I don't understand. Like, no, these games aren't easy. Like, it's just a bunch of random nonsense thrown together on a poor UI. Opinion critical. Our United Nations approval rating has dropped to 0%. If we don't take steps to improve it immediately, we could face with economic sanctions. That's all right. I don't care. This is what happens. The United Nations just, just formed. I don't need to respect its authority. Don't worry about these guys off to the side. We'll get there. We'll follow the road. They made this convenient highway system for us to utilize. Just that great looking soldier gliding across the land. In addition to the already weird effect of the representations being bigger than the towns. It doesn't get any animation. This is art. No strategic direction or anything like that, just taking all my units and moving them in. You go, Slavia. Yeah, you go, Slavia. There's just one thing I want to do, and that's, uh, where are the nukes? Let's go fast. And... And that's disappointing. Fire missile at Vancouver. Fire missile. There. No, they they are refusing to do it. I understand. Well, I guess that's Supreme Ruler. A game about the Cold War where you can't fire missiles. Dumb game. Uh, diplomacy doesn't really seem to have evolved from Supreme Ruler 2020. You just kind of do whatever. You know, you're either at war or you're not. And there's a bunch of overcomplicated nonsense when it could just be really simple. Put nuke on plane. Fly plane over to Canada. Launch nuke. I don't understand what all this nonsense is, but it's really frustrating, and I'm really disappointed. At you, Kabul.